everybody and welcome to the Koi Bookworm Plays with Yarn podcast. I'm Hannah and I'm a Jersey girl living in Liverpool. Welcome to my podcast that's about knitting and a few other crafts when I do them. Um, top of the episode, just to remind everyone that any links to what I talk about will be in the bottom down below. And um, so that will be my Instagram Ravelry and the group Ravelry group page for this and then any patterns or yarns that I use um, as well as the knit along that I was hosting for the sorceress scarf has ended and unfortunately nobody posted a finished object in the finished object thread so there is no winner for the knit along um, you're all winners <laughs> all right so that is over and done with. Um, as well as last episode I had talked about it probably being around my um, first year anniversary or podiversary as some people call it for this podcast and it was. It was November 3rd so two days ago at the recording of this. Um, and that's huge. I never thought that I'd make it a year. I usually barely make it past one episode when I try to do a podcast or any kind of YouTube thing. And I'm sorry about the angle of the camera right now. Um, sorry, I just noticed I'm like cutting off my hair. I'll just sit like this. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Uh, but yeah, it's set up the same way as usual, so I don't really know what happened oh well um so I, I never thought i'd make it to a year but i have so woo um this is a short episode really really short episode because i only have three projects to talk about um the first is a finished object so i do have a finished object um and that is my azurite mittens so there you go. Uh, the pattern is by Blacker Yarns. And the yarns that I used are, um, the purple is Sirdar Harup Tweed. Um, and then the white is the leftovers from my, um, leftover Rauma Phenol PT2 from my Vintersol. Um, these are not for me, which is why they are massive and floppy so um yeah they are a gift and that makes three finished christmas gifts and i am a good ways through the next one and so that means i only need to make two and a half two and three quarters more um <clears throat> so i'm quite happy with that it's getting done so that was my finished object. Um, one thing to point out, and you'll notice it, is that the um, the pattern on the um, the chart for the color work has an error. So I followed the error here and then realized it and changed it. So this little cross is not in line with these. Um, with this here like the other ones are and so I just fixed that on the second one so they're all in line with each other um, so I had like when I was doing the second one I had this feeling that I was doing it absolutely wrong because something felt off but it's really because the first one was off and not the second one because um, I, I ended up fixing it but yeah that's done Woo! Then on to the whips. So the first whip that I'm working on is another Christmas gift. And these are Ellie of Skane Deer Knits um, Pumpkin Spice Mittens or Pumpkin Mittens. Um, and I'm doing it in Arctic Knitting, um, Arctic Knitting Yarn. Uh, the white is undyed and then the... Um, 
brownie orange is called I don't know how to say it in Norwegian but she translated it and it's called Fox's Widow um, and it's gorgeous it's coming along really nicely so what I'm doing um, is I am knitting them congruently because I have just enough yarn uh, to make them and so I wanted to make sure that I didn't run out so um, I've knit both cuffs so I've knit both cuffs and I used a 2mm and then I knit up to the end of the thumb gusset on this one and I love the cheeky little pumpkin and so I've not started the color work on this one yet I've only just switched it over today this morning but um, I will be doing up to the thumb gusset on this one and then probably what I'll do because they're still on the needles I'll just continue up to where the decrease is begin and then switch back do the decrease get to where the decreases are here and then finish this mitten and then move on to this one and then just do the um, thumbs I didn't want to do them two at a time because I feel like that would get too messy and too um, and would mess up the color work so I'm just congruently works for me and I just I love this it looks so gorgeous. I really, I really, really love Ellie's um, mitten patterns because every one of them I've, um, I've only made two, but every one of them that I look at, I'm like, I could wear that. I, I think they're both traditional and modern enough that it works, um, and I think they're gorgeous. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and that's another Christmas gift, which I'm slightly sad to give away because I really like this. And um, this is lamb's wool, so it, it's like 100% natural like lamb's wool. Um, and so it's got enough tooth to do the um, color work, but it's so soft. When I'm working on it, I'm like, this can't be wool. Like, it's incredibly soft. So I am kind of sad that I'm going to give them away. I might have to get some more of... Um, Emily's yarn and make some for myself but and that is living in my I don't know who made this bag um, bought it at the pop-up wool show in Port Sunlight in August so um, yes I just kind of switched mittens once I finished it but it, it fits and the last project that I have is living in my Edinburgh bag and it is my socks. So I I got about an inch more on my socks. Um, I went to a um, book signing. Sorry. Uh, I went to a book signing for Deborah Harkness. And while she was talking, I just knit. So I do these two at a time, toe up. The um, toe color is a contrasting color from Mothy and the Squid. Um... And then the main color is Full and Vine Yarns in Brain Freeze. And it's on her BFL um, footsie base. And so those are coming along. Um, and that's pretty much all that I'm working on. I've set aside that crazy madness of thick and thin wool. Um, mostly because I think I'm at a point. I was thinking, I was like, oh, I'll just maybe knit it double and then fold it over. But then I was like, why would I do that? Why don't I just make two squares so I can have them on two pillows? Um, but now I need to figure out if I do have enough to do that and figure out how to do that. Um, so that's just kind of been set to, a side, set to the side for a bit. And yeah, that that's about all. That's all I have to say. Um, just been applying to jobs. Nothing to write home about um, other than the Deborah Harkness signing. That was really great. I had no idea that she was at, that she's actually from Liverpool, um, Liverpool or um, her mom. Her mom is from Liverpool, um, and she grew up in the states. Uh, but that that was really interesting, and I really enjoyed the talk. And seeing her talk about, she's been, um, they've started a, Sky has started a TV series of her books. 
and she's really she's an executive producer on it so I really enjoy seeing and hearing about how she's deciding to make things um, happen and occur in the TV series and I'm excited to read the new book but I have to wait until I get it off my grandma because I didn't know she was coming to Liverpool and so I sent my grandma to one of her signings in uh, Minnesota and then turns out she's coming to Liverpool so sorry grandma <laughs> thanks grandma but um, yeah that's that's about it so anyways happy knitting if you enjoyed your uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more click the sub sub hey, <laughs> the subscribe button <laughs> um, and if you like the video give it a thumbs up bye